Democratic National Convention. My name is Mindy Kaling. Thank you. For those of you who don't know me, I am an incredibly famous Gen Z actress who you might recognize from The Office. Thank you, The Mindy Project woman who courageously outed Kamala Harris as Indian in an Instagram cooking video. Yes, you're welcome. I am so proud to be here supporting my friend. But the real reason I am here is that deep down, I truly believe that as a woman of color and as a single mother of three, it is incredibly important that I be appointed ambassador to Italy. That's how this works, right? That's like, like why I'm here. I've never been, I'm dying to go. And guys, I just really need a break. Um, I know it's not the priority tonight, but just think about it. I am actually here because I have known the vice president for a long time. And I want to tell you one, a story about one of the first times I ever met her. She wasn't Madam Vice President then. She was my senator. And we were filming a video where she came to my home to cook dosas, a South Indian dish. Yes. It's not every day that a senator comes over, and I was pretty nervous. But when she arrived, we immediately hit it off. We talked about the love we have for our moms, who had both passed away from cancer. Both of our mothers were immigrants from India who came to America and committed their lives to serving others. My mother, Swati, became an OBGYN. Thank you. <laughs> Kamala's mother, Shaimala, became a scientist with a PhD who dedicated her life to trying to find a cure for cancer. And after speaking to Kamala, it was clear to me that Shaimala had passed down the same optimism and fearlessness to her daughter. But the thing I remember the most about the vice president is that Kamala Harris can cook. Guys, she was so much better than me. But she also knew that my family was watching. So as she gently corrected my sloppy dosa making, she was complimenting me every step of the way making sure that my daughter, Kit, heard how good of a cook I am. She had no desire to be seen as better than anyone else. She just wanted my kid to be impressed with her mom. And when she finally, and when she finally bit into my dosa, she looked at me and said, mmm, really good, and then never took another bite again. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> But it is that warmth, that generosity of spirit, that I know she will bring to the White House as our next president. Kamala Harris cares deeply about other people. She will fight to protect our freedoms, because those are the values that her mother passed down to her. But in order to protect those freedoms, Democrats also need to win the House. So we have a lot to do.